happy December and a happy Vlogmas. So this is gonna be my very first Vlogmas ever and I don't think it's gonna be a true Vlogmas where it's every single day because I'm technically starting this on the 4th of December but I have a few bits of content that I'm gonna go ahead and release during Vlogmas like my whole trip to Nashville. I've got vlog footage from that. It's mostly from the time where like where I got my hair done. So it's more of that process and then traveling and then while I was there I didn't get a whole bunch of footage of all the things I was doing but also it wasn't much because we were trying to be safe and not go around crowds and all that stuff. So it was a lot of at home watching Christmas movies, which is my jam. But I will upload that in a separate vlog. And I'm really excited because I grew up watching Vlogmas. I completely forgot about it until I think it was December 2nd. And I started to see everything on YouTube, all of the Vlogmas videos. And I was like, how could I forget? But I have also been on like a month-ish hiatus of posting just because I kind of lost a little bit of, I'll say motivation just because I felt like I wasn't interesting enough or had, you know, an interesting enough idea of something to film. So I just kind of stepped back for a minute, not intentionally, it just, the weeks started to pass, but I don't want to let that happen again. And I really, really want to commit to a couple videos a week with Vlogmas. So I'm going to try to keep the videos short. That way, you know, that way I have enough each day <laughs> to put in a vlog, but also enough time to edit it and get it up the next day for you or, you know, every other day, however I'm going to do it. And I may even smash together a couple days and put it in one. It just depends on what all's going on and all that fun stuff. I'm very excited to be doing Vlogmas. I, I guess it's still Vlogmas even if I'm not doing it every day, but regardless, I'm doing my first Vlogmas and I'm super excited. I was gonna vlog when Andrew and I went and got our tree because that was a whole ordeal on its own. Like we went to four or five different places to find the perfect one. The one we had last year, I'll insert a picture. The one we had last year was the most perfect tree in the whole entire world and nothing we could find this year compared to it. This one is the closest that we could find. We're very happy with this one, but it just set a new standard of Christmas tree <laughs> that we're having a hard time finding another one just like, but that was a whole ordeal. And now looking back, wish I would have vlogged when we were decorating the tree and putting out the rest of the Christmas decorations, but I'll give you a Christmas decor tour later during Vlogmas. So that'll be something to look forward to. And we've already decorated the outside of the house, which I wouldn't have shown you anyway for privacy reasons, but <laughs> that's also done. We're all christmas fired. I've got a couple more things I'm gonna do and when I do them I will video it so that you can watch and have something entertaining to see This is gonna be awful to edit because all I'm doing is rambling over and over and over I'm gonna get this done and then we'll see what we'll do next. You ready? Can you go out? Come on. Happy we're going outside here that last week like the lows getting into the 30s it's not even that early and it's so foggy it's crazy <laughs> So I'm already getting quite a late start on getting ready this morning. So I don't think I'm gonna do anything full out. I'll curl my hair and I'll do, I'll probably do some light makeup, but nothing bad. I've got all this mask me, hormonal acne, all of this acting up and it sucks so much. When I was in Nashville, I decided to buy some of Selena's makeup and I bought this and I bought the eyeliner. And I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I love precision. I usually do a, I do a liquid liner, but I don't usually do a felt tip, but I really like this tip. It's really easy to control. But in the first couple days, it's also really easy to mess up and I have many times. To get to the foundation, I like it, I don't love it. I wanna give you one quick descriptor. I'll say velvet, like it's, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It's not greasy at all, it's not oily either, but the way it goes on on my skin makes me feel like it is, but I, it's not in any way. It's just 
different than other foundations which i think is kind of the point is for it to be different so i just thought that part was strange i'm not opposed to it i just thought it was strange i'll keep trying it anyway just because i'm that kind of person where i'll keep trying things even if i don't like it i'll keep trying it because one day i might change my mind so i'm just going to keep using it for my mascara today what i usually do is i'll put this one on first because this is my absolute favorite mascara in the whole entire world it makes them thick long and curled all in one mascara but usually I'll do that one and then I'll take the Benefit Bad Gal Bang and I'll put that kind of on the ends just to lift it up a little bit more and to help spread them if they've clumped up at all, which they usually don't. Today, I'm going to, I've tried this before. I tried it on my TikTok account a couple months ago. It's the telescopic one that everyone has been raving about. And the first time I tried it, I was just kind of like, I was underwhelmed. There was nothing special about it. I mean, it was just a mascara and it doesn't even do what my other one can do by itself. Like, this just gives you length and if that's all you want like you don't care about them looking thick and full then sure this is yours also side note there's a specific technique you're supposed to use with this which some people already do this with their mascaras anyway i don't because the stuff i use i don't have to <laughs> to achieve the look i want they want you to take it and like wiggle it through your lashes and then let it dry and then put on a second coat that's exactly how i did it this is why i don't like to <laughs> The shake method because I always poke my eye and blink. Yeah, that, that sucks so bad. And I'm not going to clean up behind my lashes because who has time for that? Because then I have to put more concealer. And we're, it's not that kind of day. So these are new glasses. And be honest, do they look too small on my face? I can't really tell. I've, I bought another pair. They were actually Ray-Bans. And I think I'm going to send them back because I'm just not happy with the way they look. They don't really look like the picture. And then there's just a couple of other things on it that aren't exactly what I wanted. So I think they're going to go back. So I got these as a backup. But now I think they're too small on my face. Like, I love how they look. Like, the look of them is super cute. But I don't know. Do they, like, am I don't, do I just see it weird or are they too small? I'm not gonna be offended by the answer. Let me know. All right, so now we're gonna move on to hair and get this freaking rat's nest tamed. I feel like I've been getting ready for hours, but it's not even been that long. But it genuinely feels <laughs> like hours. Does anyone else feel that way when they're getting ready? Okay, so for the first couple hours, I'm actually still just going to be at home. I've actually got to finish a photo gallery. It's almost done. I'm just doing finishing touches and about to upload it to my site. So I'm just going to wear this little turtleneck and the cutest pants in the whole entire world. They're little wiener dogs. Uh, we literally, oh, I say we, but I, I literally buy all things weenie dogs. So the pillows on our bed <laughs> are weenie dogs. And actually, hold on. And actually our shower curtain in our guest bathroom <laughs> is weenie dogs as well. And I've got a weenie dog wrapping paper that I'm putting all of my dog Alfie. I'm putting all of his cousins, which are all of my like in-laws and dogs. They're, they're his cousins. Anyway, I'm putting, I'm wrapping all of the Christmas presents that Alfie and Cash got them for Christmas in the weenie dog wrapping paper. So that's going to be really cute. Like I was saying, for the first couple hours that I'm home, I'm going to be editing. So I'm just going to stay in something cozy. And yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Actually, I think I'll just go ahead and tell you the Christmas trees stories. So there's a local Christmas tree farm that's just a little bit down the road and we wanted to go to that last year but they weren't open when I wanted to get a tree and I was, I'm a very impatient person and I'm also a little bit, what's the word, impulsive. <laughs> When I decide I wanna do something, I wanna do it right then and there, like there's no waiting. Like if it's late at night and I get in my head that I need this craft because I wanna do it right now or something like that, I'm gonna get up and go to the store even if it's 11 o'clock at night because I have to. Like it's in my brain and it's not gonna leave my brain. I'm gonna think about it all night until I go to sleep. I'm gonna dream about it. I'm gonna wake up thinking about it. So I usually just let myself give in and go ahead and go get it, go buy it, whatever it is. So last year, that's what the tree was for me. I'm like, okay, I really wanna wait for this farm to open but they're not gonna open for another 
another two weeks and I want the tree now. I don't want to keep waiting for the tree. So we ended up going to Lowe's and I have, I mean, personally, I've always seen really good trees there. That was the one last year was the second time we got one from Lowe's. We got one the year before from Lowe's and beautiful, love it, no complaints. So last year's tree came from Lowe's and so this year the farm opened early so we went to it, weren't impressed. None of them were thick and full. I like mine to be like big bottom trees. <laughs> So, and none of them are like that. They're all pretty like skimpy, skinny, tall, which I, I get tall too, but none of them were wide and thick like I like it. So the first place we went though, actually, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. Hold on. The very first place that we went was a local farmer's market that we didn't even know that they usually sold Christmas trees. And I loved a lot of theirs, but none of them really compared to last year's. And that's where our problem was as we kept comparing everything to last year's tree. So walked around and we're like, yeah, these are cool. Just none of them look exactly exactly like it. So we leave there and then we go to the, we go to the Christmas tree farm that's close to the house and we see those and again, we're not sold on any of them. We're not sold on any of them. So then we go to Lowe's because we've always found winners there and we're looking around Lowe's and again, we're just not happy with any of them. None of them look how we wanted. And then we kind of gave it a break from there because we were leaving for Pensacola later in the day to do that engagement session that I told y'all about. And that's what I'm editing right now is the engagement session. But so then we go to Pensacola for the day and we were gonna come back and go to, go back to that very first farmer's market and just kind of pick one from there. Cause there were so many liked we just weren't in love with and I was like fine it's fine we'll settle and then we both decided we didn't want to settle so the next day after church we found another giant Christmas tree farm that's like 15 minutes from our house that we didn't even know existed and huge just all so many different kinds of Christmas trees, ones that I didn't even know existed. It was incredible. So we walked around there and we eventually found this guy right here. <laughs> it made me so happy. Also, when we were pulling this one out because it was already pre-cut, even though this was a, a farm where you can cut your own, this one was already had already been cut down. But uh, <laughs> when we were pulling it out, Andrew had picked up one that was like blocking it and I was pulling this one out of the way so he could set the other one back. But he picks up the other one instead and drops it down and when he drops it down he dropped it down on the top of my foot like on the top of the arch and immediately as soon as it hit tears fell not because I was you know sad or in pain it's just my body's reaction I guess when something happened so it hit and immediately tears start to fall and then all the pain starts to set in and of course he's like he's apologizing and stuff but I'm just laughing and I'm like I hope it does leave a bruise because who leaves a Christmas tree farm a happy place crying <laughs> with, with a wound so it's just it it was funny, but it did bruise up pretty bad and it was really sore for a couple of days, but then it was fine. He had actually thought he stepped on my foot. He didn't get why I was so tearful about it. And then I was like, no dude, you set the trunk of the tree all of the weight, you plopped that sucker down on my foot. So once he realized that that's what he had done, he was much more apologetic and, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm like, dude, it's in the past. I'm fine. It's all good. <laughs> no worries. It was a fun ordeal. It was a good time. And then we tied it to the top of his car, brought it home. I really do wish I would have videoed some of that. I wanted to, but then, I don't know, loss of motivation. <laughs> So it has been what feels <laughs> like an entire day since I last checked in. My battery ended up dying while I was editing. That looks freaking cool on camera. Anyway, my camera battery ended up dying while I was editing, so I took it off and let it charge. I just exported everything and I'm about to import it into my website. But then my laptop died. I've also got to send my invoice for the week to my work today too, and they're an hour ahead than me. So it's already four o'clock where they are, so I need to go ahead and do that now, but I thought I'd go ahead and while I had a break where I was getting up and stretching my legs, I would just come on and give you guys a little update and I can't get over how cool and how pretty this looks. So I'm really big on cozy vibes like the hyuga huga the Scandinavian word h-y-g-g-e <laughs> 
I'm really big on not necessarily Scandinavian style where it's like super minimal, even though I really love it. I really love things to feel cozy, be cozy. I want you to walk into my house and the first thing you think and feel is, wow, this is cozy. I feel at home here, not that. Oh, they literally pulled this out of a display room at a furniture store, you know? Feel at home and cozy, personal touch, you know, all that kind of stuff. So this <laughs> is giving me all sorts of the cozy feeling. So I absolutely love it. Okay, so while we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and ask you that if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe and you can also turn on the bell for notifications of when I post, especially with it being December Vlogmasy time. I don't really have a set time or day of when I'm gonna be posting, so having your bell turned on it will, it would be absolutely perfect for you so you know every time that I do. So you can come and watch it and not be behind, but some people like to be behind so they can binge. To each their own, but turn on the bell, subscribe. <laughs> also, please leave comments down below of anything you wanna see during December, you wanna see me do, if you wanna see me do challenges, like Andrew and I, like competing, building gingerbread houses together, or us baking something together, or going to do something that's friendly to the world circumstances. <laughs> you know, just let me know. I'm open to whatever. I have my own ideas, have things that I do want to film, but I'm always open to ideas, suggestions, any of that kind of stuff. So just let me know in the comments of any of that. And don't forget to follow me on social media at Chelsea G Photography or my personal one at Chelsea G Russell. But yes, follow all the things, subscribe, turn on the notifications, leave comments, like this video. If you haven't, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like. I would really appreciate it. I love when I see that people are actually liking, like hitting the like button, liking my videos. It makes me really happy and feel like I'm moving in the right direction with, you know, where I want to take this channel and what I want to do. And it just makes me really happy. So if you could just one quick little like, that'd be so awesome. Oh, 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 oh,